Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning. Thank you for staying with us. I know you guys had a great weekend. This is my first live interview of the day. Who do I have in the studio with me? This is Dr. Jana joining you. It's great to be on. Dr. Jana, thank you so very, very much. And I heard you got great information about helping my audience know more about potty training than little ones. Well, as a pediatrician and somebody who spends a lot of time with parents, it tends to make me popular when I say that I can help parents take the stress out of potty training. First, just by reframing how we talk about it and saying it's really more potty learning than training. Just thinking of it that way and that you're your child's coach, teammate, and fan all wrapped in one means that you're less likely to be stressed about the inevitable obstacles along the way and really enjoy this sort of milestone and important experience together. Oh, you're here to train us. I love that. Okay, <laughs> give us some tips so we can be better at doing this. Well, sure. First and foremost, make it fun or make it more fun than it typically is. You'll notice I've written a book called It's You and Me Against the P, which even in its title was, make, it was supposed to make it much more of a fun shared experience. Um, but there are several things you can do. The first is the easy, no-brainer no one. It's, it's be prepared. Parents can have supplies on hand that make it fun, also anticipating any sort of obstacles and, and really avoiding them, whether that's a step stool to help your child get to the potty, having a potty ring, and certainly training pants can go a long way, which is why it's great to partner with Pampers Easy Ups because when you make that sort of diaper to underwear transition, Having something that absorbs any leaks or messes that are inevitable along the way takes a lot of stress out of the situation and makes it more fun. The other thing that you really can do is look for signs of potty training readiness so that your child's ready to learn the skills. When they start toddling to the bathroom, starting to use their words, are able to pull up and down their own pants, and certainly when they start to be aware of and bothered by the, the sensation of having to go or being messy or wet, that adds a whole lot of motivation to the potty learning process. Those are great ideas. Now, tell me about those pull-ups. Are they easier? So, so Easy Ups, what's nice about Pampers Easy Ups is they have an underwear-like look and feel. And quite honestly, anybody who's ever potty trained a child, I had three kids in three and a half years, knows that kids love that idea of having something like big kid underwear. Except it doesn't happen overnight. So using training pants like Pampers Easy Ups gives you that, buys you that time to let your child be excited about the transition while not having to worry about leaks and messes and things that are really inevitable as they learn the process. I love that. Those are great ideas. Is there a place my audience can go online? But before I get to that, here's my first Twitter question. My two-year-old doesn't like potty training. Is there anything I can do to help him or her? Well, him and her. Oh, they must have two. Must have two. Double, double fun, right? So, <laughs> you know what? First, I actually, the reason I wrote it to you and me against the P is to really make it a fun shared experience because you can actually read children's books about potty training that are fun and lively. While at the same time, kids and parents alike process some of those positive messages we encourage them t to share. I, if people want those specific tips, they can find more of my tips both in the book but also on the Pampers.com website or on the Facebook page. And that's a great way to engage kids who might not find the process exciting, but they certainly find, you know, once they realize, um, that's a great one to do. The other one is I'm really big on this underwear sense because sometimes two-year-olds who get to go and they get to pick out these sort of big boy, big girl training pants really seems like a milestone in their minds. And it is, but it also makes them a little more excited and takes the pressure off. But you may think it's exciting for us to want to even do that. So you're talking to my audience for parents and grandparents, and lots of grandparents are watching the kids during the daytime, and I know they're doing potty training. Doc, I want to thank you so much for that information, and I think it's a great idea. 
Hey. Tell me the name of your book one more time. The book is It's You and Me Against the P, and a lot of those tips and other information are also available on the Pampers.com website, so feel free to go to either. Thank you, Doc. You made our day. My pleasure.